this video, we shall discuss how to calculate the valuation of goodwill under average profit method. Okay. For calculation of goodwill, there are three methods for calculating goodwill. One is average profit method, the second is super profit method and the third one is capitalization method. In this video, I will be teaching you how to uh, calculate goodwill under average profit method. And average profit method, again we have two, uh, two types of calculation. One is simple average, the other is weighted average. Okay, before going on to the actual problems, I will tell you the steps to calculate goodwill under simple average method. The first step one, the step one is you have to calculate average profit. How to calculate average profit? In the question, you will be given profits of the past years. So, you have to add the profit of the past years that is given in the question. Profit of past years. Add it divided by number of years. Number of years is nothing but if you have added the profit of 5 years, you have to divide it by 5. If you have added the profit of 3 years, you have to divide it by 3. So, if you do this, you will get average profit. After calculating the average profit, your next step is you will calculate goodwill. How to calculate goodwill? Whatever average profit that you have calculated, average profit into number of years of purchase. So, calculation of goodwill under simple average method is very easy. Step 1 is you have to calculate average profit. After calculating average profit, you will calculate goodwill. That is nothing but average profit into number of years of purchase. Okay, this is under simple average method. If you are working out answer under weighted average method, you will assign weights. A, weight, a higher weightage will be given for recent year profits and less weightage will be given for previous past years profit. For example, if you are adding profit of 2006, 2007, 2008 and 2009. For example, you are adding profits of these three years. For the recent year, you will give more weightage. So, for the recent year, the weightage will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Likewise, for the recent year, the weightage will be more and for the uh, Previous years, the weightage will be less. You will assign weight. By, by After assigning this weight, you will calculate average profit. And then you will calculate goodwill. This I will explain with examples. This is the first question that I have taken. We have to calculate goodwill on the basis of 4 years purchase of the average profit based on the last 5 years. The profit of the last 5 years are given here. So, what did I tell you? If you have to calculate under simple average, the first step, we have to calculate average profit. So, average profit is equal to, what is average profit? I told you, you have to add the profit of the previous years. Look into the question. The profit of the previous years is given 40,000 plus 50,000 plus 60,000 plus 50,000 plus 60,000. So, how many years have we taken? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have taken 5 years profit. So, divided by 5. Whatever, how many ever years you have taken. For example, you have taken 4 years. You have to divide it by 4. So, add the numerator and divide it by the denominator. The answer that we get is 2,60,000 divided by 5. So, the average profit is 52,000. After calculating average profit, your second step is you have to calculate goodwill. Goodwill is nothing but average profit into years of purchase. Here in this question, the average profit that we have calculated is 52,000. So, 52,000 into Number of years of purchase. Look into the question. It is given us 4 years purchase. In the question it is given us 4 years purchase. So multiply it by 
four. So the goodwill that we get is two lakh eight thousand. So calculation of goodwill under simple average is very easy. Now one more question I have taken under this uh, simple average. The difference between this problem and the previous problem is in this problem for one year we have loss. For one year it is minus five thousand. For this year there is a loss, and for the remaining years we have profit. So in this case, how are we going to calculate average profit? So see how we have to calculate average profit. Average profit is equal to minus five thousand. This five thousand we have to deduct it from profit because it is a loss. Plus thirteen thousand. Plus seventeen thousand. Plus twenty thousand. Plus twenty five thousand. How many years have we taken? See, one, two, three, four, and five. We have taken five years, so divided by five. Okay. Now add the numerator. When you are adding the numerator, you have to add thirteen thousand, seventeen, twenty, and twenty-five thousand. With that, you have to deduct five thousand because five thousand is a loss. So deduct that five thousand. The answer that you will get is seventy thousand divided by five. The average profit is fourteen thousand. Now calculate goodwill. How to calculate goodwill? Average profit into number of years of purchase. See here it is given as three. So fourteen thousand into three. The goodwill that we get is forty two thousand. So calculation of goodwill under simple average is very easy. If you have a loss, then you deduct the loss instead of adding the loss. We should deduct it. Okay, this is the last question that I have taken. The following were the profits of the firm for the last four years. The profit of last four years is given. You are required to calculate goodwill on the basis of three years purchase of weighted average profit. So in this problem, we have to calculate goodwill on the basis of weighted average profit method. Assigning weights one, two, three, and four respectively for the four years. Okay. As per the uh, average profit method, the first thing that we have to calculate is average profit. But this in this question, we we are not supposed to calculate simple average. We have to calculate weighted average. If it is simple average, we will add the profit of the past years divided by the number of years we will get simple average. But here we have to calculate weighted average. Let's see how to calculate that. For this, we have to have a table. Uh, this is the table. We have to write the year, annual profit, weight, and product. Okay. Now, for the first year, two thousand seventeen, the annual profit is sixty thousand, and the weight is one. For the year two thousand eighteen, the profit is eighty thousand, and the weight is two. For the year two thousand nineteen. The profit is one lakh, and the weight is three. And for the year two thousand twenty, the profit is one lakh forty thousand, and the weight is four. Okay. Now we have to calculate product. How to calculate product is very simple. Say if this is the second column and this is the third column. So product is nothing but second column into third column. If you multiply, you will get the product. So sixty thousand into one, we will get sixty thousand. Eighty thousand into two, one lakh sixty thousand. One lakh into three, three lakhs. One lakh forty thousand into four, we will get five lakh sixty thousand. So now we have calculated the product. Find the total of weight and also the product. The total of weight is ten. The total of product will give you ten lakh eighty thousand. Now we shall calculate average profit. This is weighted average profit. Weighted average profit is equal to total of product. How much is the total of product? Ten lakh eighty thousand divided by total of weight divided by ten. The answer that we get is. 
one lakh eight thousand. This is the weighted average. Now, after calculating the weighted average, we have to calculate goodwill. What is goodwill? Weighted average into number of years of purchase. Look into the question. Three years of purchase. In the question, it is given as three years of purchase. So, weighted average into number of years of purchase. It is four. If you multiply, the answer that you will get is. 3,24,000. This is the value of goodwill under weighted average method. So calculation of goodwill under simple average and weighted average method I have discussed in this video. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.